What's up, zombie? What's up? How you doing? Hey, creeper. Nope, you can stay over there. Nope. Nope, no. Hi there, guys. Gentle Pit here, and today I am going to show you how to import Texture Pack into Minecraft Pocket Edition, and this is going to work with iOS 6.0 and above. And just to show you down here, it says optimize for uh, iPhone 5 and iPad mini. So that means iOS 6 is now fully supported. So more importantly than that, not just that, uh, but also this works with Windows and Mac because I had a lot of people asking me about that. So this will work with iOS 6 and above and works with Windows and Mac. So feel free. And also it's uh, no jailbreak needed. I know a lot of people don't have that. Um, so, let's go ahead and jump into this. Go ahead and download this. It's it's www.i-funbox.com. I'll put a link in the description in case you can't type that out or whatever. After you download it, what you're going to do is... I'm going to go ahead and launch it real quick. And the cool thing about this is you don't have to plug in your USB. I'm not even going to do that. See, it says connecting to device. It automatically detects whatever's on your Wi-Fi. So in my case, it's going to go ahead and recognize my iPad 2. In just a second, there it is, Gizzle Pad. <laughs> yeah, that's what I called it. Okay, so you're going to click on iPhone Max Classic and click on your device and then user application, double click. And then you're going to scroll down and find Minecraft Pocket Edition, this logo here. Double click. A couple times sometimes. Okay, and once you double click on the icon and you see all of this, these different icons pop up here and you get the sounds and stuff like that, what you're going to do is go and find where you downloaded whatever texture pack you want to use. So, in my case, I used texture pack. I use a download over here in downloads. And I tried DokuCraft, and let me show you why I'm not going to use DokuCraft real quick. This is what you have to look out for because uh, there's no MC passer for non-jailbroken devices as far as I know. So uh, click on terrain when you find the texture pack you want. And if it says this junk here or is missing textures, then you're not going to want to use that because this is going to mess up. I mean, it's going to be look weird. Like this is water over here. So whenever you see water, it says use MC passer noob or patch this noob. Or even if it says white here and it's not like water then that's not going to work very well. So don't, if you see one like that, don't use it. Or, you know, Google search like that image for like DokuCraft and then terrain.png. And if you're lucky, you might find one and then just replace it that way. But I'm not going to do that because I don't like that texture pack. And it seems like a hassle. Anyways, um, I'm going to do this one right here at LB Photorealism. And I want to use 256 for everything except the uh, the weapon, the item GUI. So I go ahead and open that real quick. And let me go ahead and go to pictures. And I'm going to go ahead and start a new folder real quick. And just call it texture pack or whatever. Whatever you want to call it. Just so you know where it's at and what it is. Uh, so... There's probably an easy way to do this. I just like to have everything all organized so I don't miss anything. But, okay, armor we don't have yet. That will be in 0.6.0. But art, let's go ahead and get that. That's for the paintings. And environment we don't have. I'm just double check. Yeah, we don't have environment yet. Font, uh, go ahead and copy that just to make sure. I don't think that's in there, though. So we're going to take items and drop it over. Uh, let's see what else we have in here. Trading trap, uh, furnace, no. Anything else in here? Um, there's nothing else in here. So just take the items.png and then go to item here. You're going to want arrows, uh, arrows and chest, and that's it. So let's go ahead and drag those over. And go to miscellaneous, blah, blah, blah. Let's take explosion, bring it over just in case. And water, same thing. I, th I think that's in terrain.png, though. Uh, mob, let's go to... Let's do character, uh, chicken, cow, creeper. And I'm just pressing uh, control and left click to select the different ones I want to get. 
Uh, let's see what else we have. Uh, pig, mm, sheep, pig zombie. This is zombie pig man, isn't it? I don't know. Uh, sheep fur, skeleton, uh, spider, and what else? <laughs> zombie. And is that it? Yeah, that's it. So I'm going to drag these over and drop them into the folder. And if you go up here, terrain. Don't need that yet. Okay, I'm going to do CTM because it looks like bookshelves. I'm not sure though. Okay, particles, that's for sure. And then terrain, definitely. Okay, so that's that. And we're all ready to go. So what we do now is go back to iPhone box and I'm just going to go ahead and left click, shift, hold down shift, go all the way down, left click again, click and drag, drop, and see down there it's copying. And it's doing all this over Wi-Fi, which is really cool, so you don't have to worry about plugging anything in. And it's real convenient, so, okay, there it is, copying, done, okay. So once it updates and you see all these files changing, that means it's done. So let me go ahead and switch over and start game. There we go. And here we go. If you look here, I have a photorealism texture pack on me. And what I had to do was uh, I actually had to go back and replace the items.png because it would make my... Every time I would switch to like a item, like you know, like a diamond sword or whatever, it would uh, it crash. So <laughs> I've got an iPad too. So anything less than that, I wouldn't do anything over 64 by 64. Maybe 128 might be pushing it, like an iPod 4G. But um, remember what I told you earlier about uh, watch out for the terrain.png and didn't have water. Well. Like, this is a really awesome texture pack, but, the and the but is, you see right there, there's a missing texture. I'm in water right now. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why you want to look out for that, but I love this texture pack. It's really beautiful. Look at this. I mean, these, these cobblestone stairs are freaking beautiful. I mean, this literally looks like I'm looking at something in real life. It's just it's an awesome texture pack. That's how you do it, and it works really well. Uh, if you have any questions about, you know, something's not working, let me know in the comments below, and I'll get back to you. But hopefully you found this helpful, guys. And make sure and leave it a like if it was helpful. What's up, Sheepy? How you doing? Is that your face? Oh, God! Oh, that's not good. See what you did, Sheep. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Skizzle!